education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. A very warm good morning to all my dear students. Students, let us recall what we studied in our previous session. We studied about the features of Constantinople. We studied the reasons why people migrated to Italy when the Turks conquered Constantinople in 1453. We studied the meaning of humanism. We studied that the changes took place in Europe due to the birth of Renaissance. And finally, we also learned about how Renaissance influenced literature. So children, let us begin with our second session. Today we will be starting with Renaissance in Arts. Some prominent artists and their works in the Renaissance period were the first one Leonardo da Vinci Two famous paintings by Leonardo da Vinci are the first one the Mona Lisa, second one, The Last Supper. Once again, the first one, The Mona Lisa, second one, The Last Supper. Students, you might have seen this painting either in your books or on television. This is the famous painting of the Mona Lisa by the artist Leonardo da Vinci. Students, are you familiar with this painting? This too is a famous painting as the Last Supper by the famous artist Leonardo da Vinci. Another famous artist of the Renaissance period was Michelangelo. This is the famous painting The Last Judgment by Michelangelo. So once again The Last Judgment a painting by Michelangelo. Another important artist of the Renaissance period was Raphael. The School of Athens is a painting by Raphael. So once again, the School of Athens is a painting by Raphael. We move on to the next artist, Lorenzo Ghiberti. The door of the Florence Baptistery is an architectural work by Lorenzo Ghiberti. So once again, the door of the Florence Baptistery is an architectural work by Lorenzo Ghiberti. Another important artist of the Renaissance period was Donatello. Gattamelata is a work by Donatello in the field of sculpture. So once again, Katamelata is a work by Donatello in the field of sculpture. Students, let us move on to the next topic, the Renaissance in science. Copernicus propounded the theory of solar system and announced that the earth revolves round the sun. So, Copernicus propounded the theory of solar system and announced that the earth revolves around the sun. Second one, Galileo Galilei invented the telescope. Galileo Galilei invented the telescope and scientifically proved that the theory put forward by Copernicus was true. Next one, the printing press was invented by a German blacksmith named Johannes Gutenberg. So, the printing press was invented by a German blacksmith called Johannes Gutenberg. Finally, it became easier to propagate the Renaissance ideas widely among the masses or the people. So students, let us move on to the Renaissance in religion, that is the Reformation. The refinement underwent by the European Christianity 
in the 16th century is known as the reformation so what is reformation the refinement underwent by the european christianity in the 16th century is known as the reformation it was martin luther who first began reformation in germany so who started reformation it was martin luther and where did he start he started first in germany next one discovery of new sea routes the turks had conquered constantinople in 1453 which broke the trade relation between asia and europe so students we had already studied in our previous session about the three features of constantinople i hope you remember that so which were they they were first one centers of knowledge second one abode of scholars and treasury trove of scholarly texts and third one gateway from asia to europe wherein we said that constantinople was the only land route between asia and europe so here since turks had conquered constantinople in the year 1453 as a result the trade route between asia and europe got dismantled second one the traders had to discover new sea routes to asia we already mentioned here that the constantinople was conquered by the turks in 1453 which was the only land route between asia and europe to carry on the trade services but once constantinople was captured by the turks there was no other option by the traders but to find a new sea route to asia third one the invention of the compass and the spirit of adventure helped in discovering unknown routes oceans and continents moving on to the last section of the chapter which is industrial revolution so due to renaissance in the field of science the invention of new machines brought about great changes in the field of production so due to renaissance in the field of science what happened new machines were invented and as a result there was immense change in the field of production second one production increased and the cost of production decreased so what happened children production increased and the cost of production decreased third one such changes in the field of production helped in industrial revolution and finally industrial revolution first began in england so where did industrial revolution first began it began first in england inventions during the industrial revolution were first one flying shuttle the scientist was john kay so first one flying shuttle invented by john kay second one spinning jenny what is it spinning jenny it was invented by james hargreaves who invented spinning jenny james hargreaves third one steam engine steam engine was invented by james watt who invented steam engine james watt and finally locomotive locomotive was invented by george stephenson who invented locomotive george stephenson so once again flying shuttle john kay spinning jenny james hargreaves steam engine james watt and lastly locomotive george stephenson students let us recall what we studied in this session we studied about renaissance in arts renaissance in science we studied about the reformation which was the renaissance in religion then we studied about discovery of new sea routes we studied about industrial revolution and finally we studied about the inventions during the industrial 
than in Mushin. Let us move on to the assessment area. Answer these questions in your notebook. First one, explain how the industrial revolution brought about changes in the field of production. I repeat, explain how the industrial revolution brought about changes in the field of production. Second one, you, have, you can see a chart wherein you need to complete this chart. Yes, you have the artist, their work and their field. We already studied in this particular section. Make sure that you write this accordingly. Students, that's all for today. I hope I was clear to you in this session. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe.